Hi and welcome to another episode of Rob's Triathlon Tips for Beginners. Uh, this video is kind of like an appendix to my previous video about how I fixed my blood pressure making some dietary changes instead of taking drugs. I realized afterwards that uh, I didn't dive into the, the types of drugs that you might be prescribed and problems that you can get from those. So again, disclaimer, not a doctor. Uh, this is just me sort of regurgitating some information that I found on these drugs. Uh, so the first kind of drug that you might be prescribed for blood pressure issues is uh, thiazide diuretics. And what they do is dehydrate you to lower your blood pressure. And that means that you need to drink more water all the time. And drinking more water all the time flushes your sodium and magnesium and potassium out of your system, which can lead to more blood pressure issues. And thiazide diuretics have some other side effects that can happen as well. Uh, they can raise your blood sugar, they can raise your triglycerides, they can reduce your HDL, and they can cause sudden heart attack. So, I mean, that's all sounding great, right? <laughs> the, the next kind of blood pressure drugs you can be prescribed are beta blockers and what they do is they slow down your heart by blocking the action of hormones like adrenaline also known as epinephrine uh, and then what you need to understand is when when you mess with one hormone in your body you throw off the balance of hormones in your body which can cause all kinds of other problems beta blockers can have the following side effects uh, raised blood sugar uh, raised triglycerides reduced hdl weight gain and fatigue so i mean that sounds just as good as thiazide diuretics you can also be prescribed a type of blood pressure medication called ace inhibitors um, and they have, I don't know how to pronounce this, angiotensin. It's a chemical that causes your arteries to become narrow, especially in the kidneys, but also in other parts of the body. And ACE stands for angiotensin converting enzyme. ACE inhibitors help the body produce less angiotensin, which helps the blood vessels relax and open up. Uh, which then lowers your blood pressure. The possible side effects of that are having a dry cough all the time, increased potassium levels in the blood, um, which is called hyperkalemia, which can be bad, uh, fatigue, dizziness from blood pressure going too low, headaches, and losing your sense of taste. <laughs> so those sound even more interesting maybe than the, the side effects of beta blockers and thiazide diuretics you can also be prescribed calcium channel blockers um, and this kind of drug prevents calcium from entering the smooth muscle cells of the heart and arteries and when calcium enters those cells it uh, causes a stronger and harder contraction so decreasing the calcium uh, makes the heart's contraction less forceful and calcium channel blockers relax and open up the narrowed blood vessels reduce heart rate and lower blood pressure the possible side effects being constipation dizziness a fast heartbeat and palpitations even though it was supposed to reduce your heart rate fatigue headaches nausea and rashes and i could keep going for a while there are many other types of drugs that can be prescribed for blood pressure as well with their own unique side effects alpha blockers alpha 2 receptor agonists combined alpha and beta blockers central agonists peripheral adre adre <laughs> how do you even say that adren adren whatever inhibitors <laughs> vasodilators uh, i think you get the point i mean much like the treatments of other health problems like type 2 diabetes and trying to prevent heart disease when you're talking about cholesterol and lipids and triglycerides lipoproteins i mean modern medicine's answer 
to those health problems is to treat more of the symptoms of the health problems, not the root causes. And treating the symptoms just perpetuates and exacerbates uh, your health issues. And it's not even that the cure is worse than the disease. These drugs are not even a cure for your blood pressure. They just cause more problems. And uh, like the only way to truly fix your blood pressure, like I talked about in my previous uh, video, is to do your own research, take responsibility for your own health, not trust that your doctor knows everything and is going to tell you everything and isn't just going to prescribe you a drug because nine out of 10 doctors will, I guarantee you. They, they, they follow their guidelines to a T and prescribe drugs. And if you come and talk to them about other things like, can I make dietary changes that aren't just reducing my salt? Will that impact anything? Maybe if they're not closed-minded, they might say, um, not sure, I guess you can try that. <laughs> but if they're informed, then they would suggest dietary changes as an intervention before drugs. Uh, so go and check out my other video if you haven't already. Uh, and if you like this video, please give it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and share the video with people that you know who may benefit from it. Thanks.